Hey guys, so we are here for a visit to the uh, new and improved cart and horses. As you can see, all the scaffolding and stuff is gone. They've given it a paint job, have all the signs and everything up and ready. Uh, number one, as you can see, we are having some food, maybe grab a drink in there and uh, see who shows up because obviously with Maiden playing here tomorrow, you're sure to, we're, sure, we're sure to see some friends. Yeah. Gin and tonic and a trooper. Oh, red and black. Your favorite. My favorite. So since the renovations, it looks pretty different in here. We came here in 2018 uh, on Legacy of the Beast, the first round of that. And uh, the stage was actually right here. It was a pretty small stage, but they seem to have ripped that out. And I'm not sure what happened to it really, but it's definitely looking a lot newer in here and they're leaning way more into the fact that Iron Maiden used to play here, which I think is a cool move. There's a lot of cool stuff up here. As far as drinks, everything's right on theme with 666 on a steel IPA, Hallowed, Fear of the Dark, Red and the Black. Red and the Black being my personal favorite. Comment below your favorite Trooper beer because that's one thing that we've never talked about. But yeah, mine is definitely red and the black. So they've opened up the, the downstairs now. And they're they're having like an event here later tonight with a Maiden Tribute band. They're like selling merch and everything. So coming through here. So this is the stage where the band tonight is playing. My first thought was that maybe they moved Maiden stage down here, but this looks very different maybe a bit bigger. Um, this is a pretty uh, interesting setup for a tribute band. I mean, that's a pretty bang on Nico's kit, right? Just do a quick run through everything on the wall. We got a bunch of albums up there, cassettes, West Ham. The classic photo of them playing here back in 75, 76. Awesome. So the events they have, Thunderstick, Air Force, Neil K. Well, here we are at the Cart and Horses, uh, and let me tell you, it was quite the adventure getting here. We were jam-packed like sardines into a train or the chew. The chew. You have to say the chew. The chew. Yeah. So uh, we barely made it on. Chris right there had to uh, pull me in, pull, pull this bag in. The bag got caught in the doors and we're literally like this, face pressed up against the glass. And uh, we had to ride that for about three stops uh, before it finally cleared up, just to breathe. Heavy BO. Oh, yes. Heavy. From a woman right next to me. A man next to me. Yes. I know, I'm not very tall, right? My nose is right in this woman's armpit. I tell you what. No bueno. A brave new world. A brave new world. <laughs> same, same, but different. Thank you. Please. <laughs> four, four, four muffins, please. Three muffins. <laughs> Lemon. Lemon. Delicious. It said last customers of the day here yeah, have a tradition where they get free muffins. So. Yeah, or the most annoying customers of the day. Everybody. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> muffin cheers to free muffins free at muffins. Costa. Yay! <laughs> so we found Trader's Gate. Firepower, anyone? Even though I'm from England, I've never really done London because uh, I always stayed in the south. But 
the coolest thing about this is all the really old stuff like these churches and in the background is all the ultra modern stuff that came up years later. It's a really interesting city. This water is gross. It's pure shit water. So here we are walking under the London Bridge, which uh, is the most boring bridge in London. Look at that shit water. Yep. If you drink the water, uh, you will die of dysentery and have to restart the game. What a prize. So right now we're directly under Millennium Bridge about to cross the river and we're just trying to figure out where to go next. Mike? Uh, well, according to the map, we got to go this way because I definitely want to see, I definitely want to see this. Yeah, that's, that's an important piece. So uh, I think it's up these stairs. Okay, this great. Way. And of course, we circled all the way back to Tower Bridge. And looks like we're gonna go meet up with some friends for a drink. So we ended up walking into the O2 Arena just to check it out tonight. We weren't planning on it, but back in 2018, it was all kind of under construction, and now it looks like it's all finished. It's really beautiful in here. And Mike, the lucky guy that he is, what do you find? Well, uh, did you explain who walked by? No. First? So we were sitting, uh, this was like, I don't know, a three minute walk from where we are at a restaurant that's closed. We were just having a little snack sitting on the benches out there. We see Sean, Adrian's guitar tech, uh, walk by and we're like, oh, we didn't really say anything. He was on the phone, but he walked by and didn't really think anything of it. Well, we're walking back and guess what I find on the ground? Mr. Smith's guitar pick. No way. He's leaving a little breadcrumb trail. Yeah, either he did it on purpose, or <laughs> he probably just grabbed it. A breadcrumb trail to, to the to yeah, the line. But, but when you think about it, how many people in the ten minutes since we saw him have walked up and down this corridor, Stepped on and it. this has just been sitting there yeah. the whole time? Great success. <laughs> Good morning from the O2 Arena, one of the famous places, maiden plays in uh, London. Uh, we are here, it's 8.54 a.m. and we're not getting in line, but we're meeting our friends here because uh, I think the Jubilee line runs right into the city, but that's what we're doing today. And tomorrow is just going to see the city because the last time I was here, I saw train station, venue, hotel, venue, train station, airport. So I didn't really get to see very much last time, so I'm uh, I'm not toying with uh, lining up early. I'm going to go hang in the back this time because I feel like I've had a very good tour so far. And uh, we're going to take you guys along for the ride today. Plus, check out this weather. Seriously. Well, as soon as we got up to Glasgow, it was just pissing down rain, cold, miserable. And now it's finally warm again. Though I do think we are getting a little rain tomorrow, on and off. So. Well, we're going to do our best and enjoy the day. Anything in the sky. Nothing. One cool thing about the O2 is they have like their own room that you enter from the outside for merchandise. And it's over here. So we'll be seeing them set up in here a bit later. Well, we're gonna say goodbye to the O2 for now and go enjoy some of London. Remember the Chocolate River from Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory where it used to scoot probably drown? That's it. We just crossed the road. Here's the where most of the famous shots are from, from the Parliament Building and Big Ben, Elizabeth Tower. It's quite busy today, but not as busy as you would think. Go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island. Whatever the cost may be, we shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the hills, in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender! We just had a much needed break with a drink in a coffee shop. Buckingham Palace was a lot more stressful than we had planned, getting caught up in the, a lot of the foot traffic and with the parades and stuff going on, you get stuck, so we're at Trafalgar Square now. Looking for British Lions. Oh, we see three British Lions Oh yeah, right, right there. Uh, bets on if there's a fourth one on the other side. I find four. Um, it's fried shrimp cake. What do we have here? Um, cargo, soup dumplings, turnip cake, 
still waiting on Sean Front, but you guys, I don't know how you Let's see. <laughs> Our last plate's finally here. Good stuff. Uh, we're in line for merch now. Uh, there is an event shirt. I've seen it, but James couldn't get his camera on it for some reason. Uh, so I'm going to see a little up close, see if I want to buy it or not. It's uh, kind of halfway. I can't decide if I really want it or not. I like the back. This is the thing. I like the back of the, the last two. But... The front is just maybe a little generic. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the event shirt for London, and it's in fact a Gildan. Good news. Potentially, though, only for the 2XL and above. So, I might buy more. It's a t shirt. Oh, so some of them are t shirting? Yes. Okay. T shirting. The bigger people get the better deal this time. Yes, I do. We finally made it inside the merch room. So, there's a close up of the London Event shirt. Front with Senjutsu up front, the O2 in the background. And Cyborg Eddie throwing a flag into London. And everything else. All 40 pounds. I do quite like this sweatshirt, but maybe not 80 pounds worth. On the right, there's the official merch cart that's also open for London. They're selling a lot of shirts today. It's time to go in. We're going to wait for doors and go in with GA. Uh, one of the interesting things about this weekend is that there's so many big acts here this weekend. Uh, other than the two maiden nights, you got Billy Joel and The Weeknd and Bruce Springsteen. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on in London. They were letting GA in and they just stopped it right at our group of friends. Yeah. Right when you start cutting yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, we have made it to the floor of the O2 Arena here in London. Uh, first the barrier and the first couple hundred looks like of uh, GA has come in. The sound desk here, that's where we're going to be hanging out most of the gig. We're going for a sidebar today. Sidebar? Which is cool, it's nice. We're just uh, enjoying the evening. It's it's like a proper arena. I mean, first time I've been here. I know uh, Captain Paris gang has been here before, but yeah. It's, it's tall, it's wide. It's tall, it's wide, it's good. It's got everything. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, one more show with Lord of the Lost. Our Lord and Savior, Leonard Schmidt. What a great cinematographer. That's all I got. He's number one. He's number one, he's number one. Well, yeah, it's going to be a, a great gig. We're really excited. And I was like, and I was still kind of mad about it. And I'm like, I, I appreciate it, but I didn't catch it. So it doesn't count. I didn't bring it with you. I didn't bring it with you. I can't. And what's really funny is I got one. Five kilos of cannabis. <laughs>
to the venue and James just figured out where the line is. I don't know how we're supposed to get up there. Yeah. Damn. They changed things for night two. <laughs> so it is night two and I'm very tired. That's day two. It's about what, 10.30? 10.30. And uh, we're just headed to the venue. I am got first of the barrier today but I'm just gonna use it as early entry because after 46 days on the road and very tiring evening yesterday, I just don't know that I have it in me to do the, you know, the early wait that they would obviously have had to do today. So I'm just going in to say hi to friends, get my number, hang out a little bit and see how the day goes from there. Everybody seems very tired from yesterday's show. Lots of sleepers in the line. Not me. Not very talkative. There's nowhere to talk to. Everyone's asleep. <laughs> we came to hang out. And nobody wants to talk about the show last night. Well, we're all sleepy. Why are they sleepy? <laughs> so here we are, night two. Uh, last night at the soundboard was a bit moist. I was drenched in sweat, got a little hot back there, and today we're doing the barrier, so at least we've got some front ventilation, It'll be moist. but it's going to be a bit moist as well. So I opted for the uh, sleeveless shirt today, but what uh, the benefit of that is that it highlights what's called the organ tab. So this part is what saw hell on earth. Yes. And this is the skin that hasn't yeah. seen hell on earth. Exactly. So we're gonna we're gonna crisp this up today, uh, and then uh, hopefully we'll even it out by the end of the show. Exactly. I have one too. I always wear sleeveless shirts, so I kind of have my own weird little 
tan where I'm super pale under where my shirts end and then actually got some color on this shirt since I've been walking so much. Thank you, keep walking guys, stay on the right hand side please. Very cool. <laughs> and back to soundboard we go. This is the first year we've ever done side soundboard, and I gotta say it's really good because even if there's somebody tall in front of you, you can just kind of lean over a little bit and see. But uh, we enjoyed it last night, so since we didn't get on the barrier, that's fine. We'll do this again. And uh, I actually really like having a view of what Pooch is doing over here. He looks really into the music even when he's working, and uh, it's really fun to see.
Donkey Donkey. Oh, that's better. <laughs> well, I did say it was the future past tour. And you know what? I've got a confession to make. We were late on stage tonight. We know. We were fucking late on stage. But you know why that doesn't matter? Because time is, after all, only relative. Like my grandmother, she was a relative. She's out of time now. So time itself, you see, here's the story. One of our guitar players begins with a D, second name begins with an M. Was in a car on the way to this very emporium tonight. When unfortunately the driver pressed the wrong button on the Sabbath and was transported into another dimension. the Blackwall Tunnel was closed. But because we know the exact amount of power required to get, for example, a DeLorean through the gates of time and space itself, written on the board behind me. Anybody? How much? What is it? Yeah, I'm taking, yeah, yeah, no, no conferring, yeah.
from down below.